Hi, Gemini. It is not Gemini. It is Scorpio. Okay. So, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Hi, Scorpio. It's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Scorpio, we have the lovers. We have the page of pentacles and the high priestess. So it looks like um, there was a relationship, whether it was a relationship, marriage, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, somebody came in between the relationship. Something came in between the relationship. Um, it was just a divide. Um, somebody didn't choose right. You know, somebody feel like they didn't choose right or they're not making the right choice actively, presently, you know. Um, somebody also has options. and Maybe that is, you know, um, why they're now at a standstill, why they are not choosing the person that they felt like it was a perfect union with. They're not choosing that person. Because there's other options too. The Page of Pentacles talks about having a lot of options in love, um, needing to make a choice. Okay. Um, it could be that somebody is just not making a choice. They're still on the market. Um, it also could be that somebody had a really significant loving union and maybe a child or another person came in between the union, a secret woman, a secret child, a secret pregnancy, something about secrecy, a woman who was doing nothing in terms of really trying to break up the relationship outside of just being there. Her presence was there. It was um, threatening the relationship. And for some of you, it did threaten the relationship. Um, and the relationship is over. Now somebody is really thinking about maybe the choice that they made. It wasn't right. Uh, it wasn't the right choice. Um, this will have far-reaching consequences when you make the wrong choice in the lover's. The lovers talks about a choice. It used to be called a choice or the choice. Um, the thing about it, you know, it's different from a decision because a decision is when you're going to go in and make an incision. So you're going to cut away and then move away something or somebody or something. Okay. So it's no longer readily available for you, but with a choice, you're just making, you know, a choice of this or that. If you choose this, then that is still there. You haven't really cut it away. You just decided on or you chosen, you know, this thing and not that thing. So a choice is, you know, because sometimes it can be about temptation too, you know, because um, with a choice, the other thing is not gone. It's still readily available, not like in a decision. When you make a decision, you are you are done. You know, it is this and it is nothing else. Now, can you work your way back to from a decision? Of course, but it's not like a choice. So somebody was tempted maybe away from you. They didn't see what their union was or, or vice versa. You didn't see what the union was. Now you will. Somebody's going to have some far reaching consequences for maybe choosing to do something outside of their courtship, their marriage, their relationship. Somebody is very sad with the five of cups at the bottom of the deck or very regretful because a lot of times you get regret and resentment in the five of cups. Somebody feels like something was taken away from them with maybe the loss of or, or somebody leaving or, or there's division of um, somebody feels like um, it's going to be hard to work their way back to. There's still been so much time that has elapsed between the two. So it's like, how do I get back? Uh, with the five of cups here, it says that the relationship is recoverable, not before you to build a bridge and actually cross it together to come back together. Um, it also says that, you know, um, somebody was too busy looking at, uh, what was and not what is right now. Let's see what's really going on here. Um, a child, child's mother, somebody was always threatening the relationship. Let's see. Wow, as I say that, look what came out. Spoiled rotten children. And materialistic as F. 
So somebody is very materialistic. They're all about the house, the car, the shoes, the jewelry, anything that, you know, speaks to their very depleted, um, debased soul um, value system. Um, somebody has some very spoiled children. Um, they don't discipline the children. Their children get whatever it is they want. Other children rule over, run over. The children have been a hindrance to a connection, a relationship, especially if this was an extended family type of situation. Um, a, a blended family more so. Okay. Uh, or it's a blended family now because somebody has an outside child. Um, yeah, somebody is now regretful. They're thinking about how they used to love laying in your arms. They're thinking about the romantic dinners you guys shared. They're thinking about how they can talk to you for hours, but now they are blocked on all social media. Um, they're blocked out of your life. Um, you don't want to deal with it, Scorpio, or vice versa. This is someone else. Let's see what else is going on here, and then we'll get out of here. It's really cut and dry. Um, okay, so somebody, so we got this coming out, dangerous person, watch your back, okay, in homeless and in need. Now, someone could actually be homeless, or um, somebody could just feel like they are without a relationship, they are without a stable relationship, and they're in need, they are definitely in need. Um, somebody also could be paying a lot of money, so that's why they are without resources, um, Somebody just needs to apologize, okay? Um, somebody is showing up as dangerous, okay? Uh, dangerous because they don't have anything to lose. They feel like they've lost it all. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. And if you can't do any of that, you can just comment below how this reading resonated for you. And keep in mind that I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.